In this video, I'm going to go through the questions on differentiation with perimeter, area, and volume. If you want to try the questions first, you can find a link to them in this video's description. For this first question, we need to find the missing length, which is this one here, which will just be equal to this 8x add this y. So it's 8x add y. Now, if we find the perimeter by adding up all of the lengths, we've got 8x add y, add 25x, add y, add 15x, add 8x, add 10x. And we know because we're told in the question, this must add up to 298. If we now simplify, let's start by collecting the x terms. And if you add all of these up, you'll get 66x. And the two y terms, if you add these, you get 2y. So this must equal 298. Now, if we subtract 66x from both sides, on the left, we've just got 2y. And on the right, it's 298, take 66x. And then divide both sides by 2, you'll get y equals 149 minus 33x, which is what we were asked to show. For part B of this question, we need to work out the area. To do this, we'll split the shape into two rectangles. This lower rectangle is 8x by 10x, so 8x times 10x is 80x squared, and the upper rectangle is 25x times y, so 25xy. So the area must be equal to the sum of these, so area equals 80x squared plus 25xy. Now in part A of this question, we showed that y was equal to 149 minus 33x, so we can substitute y out for that. And now if we expand this bracket, we get a equals 80x squared, 25x times 149 is 3725x, and then 25x times negative 33x is negative 825x squared. Now if we simplify the terms in x squared, we'll end up with a equals 3725x, take away 745x squared which is what we were trying to show. For the final part of this question, we need to find the maximum value of a. We know this corresponds to a stationary point when dA by dx equals zero. So we have from the previous question, a equals this. So let's find dA by dx. If you differentiate 3725x, you just get 3725. And if you differentiate 745x squared, you're gonna get negative 1490x. We know this needs to equal 0, so 3725 minus 1490x equals 0. Add 1490x to both sides, and you'll get 3725 equals 1490x. Now divide both sides by 1490, and you'll find an x value of 2.5. Now we need to find the maximum value of a, so we need to substitute this back in. So a equals 3725 times 2.5, take away 745 times 2.5 squared, and if you type this into your calculator, you'll get 4,656.25 centimeters squared because it's area. For this question, we need to find the perimeter. To do that, I'll add up all of the sides. I'll start with this one at the bottom, so 6x, and then go round. We've got plus y, plus x, plus 4x, plus 4x, plus 4x, plus x, plus y. And we're told in the question, this must add up to 220. We can now collect like terms, so if we add up all of the x terms, you get 20x, and the 2y terms gives you plus 2y, and this must equal 220. If you subtract 20x from both sides, you get 2y equals 220 minus 20x, and then divide both sides by 2, you'll get y equals 110 minus 10x. For the next part of this question, we need to calculate the area. I'm going to split the shape into two rectangles. And the top one here is 4x by 4x, so that's 16x squared. And the bottom one is 6x times y, so 6xy. So the area is 16x squared plus 6xy. But from the previous part, we learned that y was equal to 110 minus 10x, so we can substitute y out for that. And now if we expand these brackets, 6x times 110 is 660x, and 6x times negative 10x is negative 60x squared. Now simplify the terms in x squared and you'll end up with a equals 660x, take away 44x squared, which is what we needed to show. For this final part, we need to find the maximum value of a, so we need to differentiate. So dA by dx, 660x differentiates to give 660, and minus 44x squared differentiates to give minus 88x. Now we know this needs to equal zero at the stationary point, so 660 minus 88x equals zero, Add 88x to both sides, then 660 equals 88x, and divide by 88 on both sides, then x will give you 7.5. We need to substitute this back in to find the value of a. So a equals 660 lots of 
minus 44 lots of 7.5 squared, and if you type this into a calculator, you'll get 2,475 centimeters squared. For this question, we need to find the volume. To find the volume of a cuboid, you're just going to times the lengths together. So we'll do volume equals 5 times 2x times 9 minus 5x. If you times the first two terms, 5 times 2x, that's just 10x, and then this bracket, and then if we expand the bracket, 10x times 9 is 90x, and 10x times minus 5x is minus 50x squared. And this is what we needed to show. For part B of this question, we need to use differentiation to work out the maximum value of v. So we know v equals this, so we'll find dv by dx. If you differentiate 90x, you get 90, and differentiating negative 50x squared is negative 100x. We know at the maximum value of v, this must equal 0, so 90 minus 100x equals 0. Add 100x to both sides, and you get 90 equals 100x, and then divide both sides by 100, and you'll get x equals 0 0.9. This is the value of x that gives the maximum value of v, so we'll substitute that back in. So v equals 90 lots of 0 0.9, take away 50 lots of 0 0.9 squared. And if you type this into your calculator, you get 40.5, and it's centimeters cubed now because it's volume. In this question, we need to find the volume of the triangular prism. To do that, we'll do the area of the cross section, which is a triangle, and then times the length. So the volume is equal to 0 0.5, times the base, which is 4x, times the perpendicular height, which is 3x, and then times the length of the shape, which is 9 over x take away 1. If we multiply these first three terms here, well 4x times 3x is 12x squared, and half of 12x squared is 6x squared, and then times the bracket. Now if we expand the bracket, 6x squared times 9 over x is going to give you 54x, and 6x squared times negative 1 is negative 6x squared. This is what we needed to show. Now we need to use differentiation to work at the maximum volume. So we've got our formula for volume, and we'll do dv by dx. If you differentiate 54x, you get 54, and differentiating negative 6x squared gives you negative 12x. When it's the maximum value of v, this must equal 0. If you add 12x to both sides, you get 54 equals 12x. Divide both sides by 12, and x is 4.5. Now we substitute x back in to get the maximum value of v, so v equals 54 lots of 4.5, take away 6 lots of 4.5 squared, which gives you 1 to 1.5 centimetres cubed. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.